What's going on, my boys? YT Dan back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! AI video. Today we're going to be getting in there with the most powerful Flame Swordsman combo line on line, period. This combo line will hold your opponent off for the first turn and OTK them through one monster in the second turn. Also, it gives you a beat down potential omni negates and much more so we need to get in here my boy so first i'm gonna start off with this our fighting flame swordsman as you know this is a key starter monster but for most people they look at it as an extender but our goal for this deck or for this archetype was to build a deck that can use this as its main starter monster but also make sure that it's not overshadowed by the archetype that we were adding into it so my goal when reaching out to the ai was to find a compatible archetype that could synergize with the best qualities of both the flame swordsman archetype the link to is old and completing both of those lines perfectly allows us to add the six samurai watch this so first i'm going to normal summon the fighting flame swordsman use the effect to add flame swords realm because it's about to get hot in here i'm going to use the flame swords realm activate the effect to send any monster from my hand to the graveyard at this stage it doesn't matter in this deck all we need is flame swordsman the fighting flame swordsman and any six samurai monster that can be special summoned so for this just for the sake of this demonstration we're going to put kaizen in the graveyard and bring out a copy of the flame swordsman now that two monsters are on the field we're going to link two into isolde now that we've linked into isolde we're going to resolve their effects of isolde and fighting flame swordsman so we're going to do a chain block Isolde, Fighting Flame Swordsman. Now we're going to send to the graveyard Salamandra and we're going to add to our hand the Mirage Swordsman. Then we're not going to activate Salamandra's effect at this time. We're going to activate the Isolde and we're going to send the Phoenix Gear Blade to the grave. This card says, equip to a fire warrior. Perfect synergy. It gains 300 of those things. We need them. At the end of the damage step, if this equipped monster attacked, you can send this card to the graveyard during the battle phase. Each, each of your warrior monsters and fire monsters can make a second attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard or banished, if this card is sent to the graveyard or banished, to activate a monster's effect, you can add this card to your hand. All right now. So let's go ahead and put that in the grave. And then we're gonna special summon because the effect of his old says, when you send an equip to the grave, you special summon a monster based on the number of equips you sent. Since we sent one equip that will return to our hand, we're gonna also special summon the level one tuner, Fuma, Six Samurai Fuma, and the Phoenix Blade. And because we have this in our hand and we just special summoned the Six Samurai, guess what? Chain block summoning. Now, we have the Phoenix Blade in our hand and our field is set up, it's prime and ready. So let's use Salamandra from the graveyard and equip to our six samurai and go into the synchro summon. Now we hit the synchro. We can summon legendary six samurai Shein. And then we can use Salamandra's effect to search our deck for the Salamandra fusion. But I'm not done. I'm gonna use Monster Rebone to rebone the flaming swordsman. And I'm gonna use this my fusion now i'm gonna bring out the ultimate ultimate flame swordsman and this ultimate flame swordsman has a powerful effect it says this you can target one monster your opponent controls destroy it and if you do inflict 500 of those things to the opponent 
This effect is a quick effect if you have an equip card. This effect is a quick effect if you have a equip card. Did I mention that I was able to search my deck for the Mirage Swordsman in this combo line? If a face up fire fusions monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. If this card is destroyed or in your hand, even if not at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy both battling monsters. If this card is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, you can special summon a level seven fusion monsters from your deck or extra deck. Don't we run two copies of this? Yes, we do. Now listen, we don't need this right now, but this is our end board. We're ending on a negate. We're ending on a boost and we have a pop plus this card right here you and ai is just a is just a, a a placeholder card so this could be a hand trap this could be a back row this could be anything this could be the flame swordsman hand trap this could be six samurai um uh uh back row card this could be anything this could literally be anything anything is possible with you and ai so i'm gonna end my turn so the AI is gonna commence the testing. We're gonna go ahead and execute our effect and destroy this monster. Now we drew for our turn and look what it is. You and AI, again, placeholder cards. Now, right now, game is already on board. I don't have to do anything else. Game is already on board because we can do many things. We can either activate this effect and special summon another flame swordsman. And then we have more options that way. Because as I mentioned, as you saw, as I was reading all these effects, there was a lot of different cards that help other fire warriors do things. And right now we only have one fire warrior, but I'm not trying to do all that. I'm just showing you how this whole combo is fully set up end to end to do its thing. And this isn't even a deck. This is this deck is only this combo. You and they, I. So watch this. With this setup like this, I'm gonna just go ahead from my graveyard and use Salamandra's effect. Equip to the Flame Swordsman. 3,800 of those things. We're gonna go into battle. Then I'm going to attack with the Flame Swordsman. We're going to use Flame Swords Realm, and we're going to take a Soul Day down by a thousand to use Beat Down. We're going to take a Soul Day down by a thousand to use Beat Down. We're going to take a Soul Day down by a thousand to use. Okay, to use Beat Down, man. Then, at the battle, because we're in the damage step. We're gonna activate the effect of the ultimate flame swordsman and go to 9,600 and attack for game. Let's talk AI. What's going on my boys? Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel AI, where we're getting in there with the archetype codex, the 2.0 update to Yu-Gi-Oh! AI Duelist, the artificial intelligence created by me, YT Dan Legendary Duelist, given to you for free in the link below. Now, I looked into the internet, I looked into the chat, I looked into the comment sections and I saw that people were looking for a real deck. They were looking for something that they could utilize to fight against the meta, but also utilize the flame swordsman in a unique way. You've already seen it for Noble Knight. You've already seen yada, yada, yada. They already make that, but you ain't never seen it like the way you just saw it in my demonstration. That's because I use AI to provide me with all of the potential options using the archetype codex to find synergy between different archetypes so that we could deliver an OTK within the specific archetype of our desire. And what archetype do we desire this time? The Fighting Flame Swordsman. We wanted a way to enable this card to OTK going second because that's the type of deck that we saw it to be, an OTK deck going second. 
but any good OTK deck going second has to be worth its muster going first if it's forced to do so. With this deck, you can actually go first or second with the very same combo. And also, because the combo is naturally lean, we can fit many other combos and lots of other variety into this deck because guess what? This deck doesn't lock you into anything. This is the power of AI. Get you your AI duelist for free. Come on my duelist, let's become duelist engineers together. 2025, we need to take it to the next level, come on. So, Fighting Flame Swordsman. The reason why this card is good is because through its effect, we can get Sal Flame Swords Realm. It's a continuous spell that lets us put another body on the board. With another body, we can get Isolde. And Isolde's effect allows us to not only add a card for follow-up next turn, but it allows us to send an equip spell from our deck to the graveyard that returns to our hand that we will use to equip to the ultimate flame swordsman but how are we going to summon the ultimate flame swordsman because the normal summon of the fighting flame swordsman and the link two of his old put it in the graveyard that allowed us to get salamandra in the grave and because we were able to get salamandra in the grave we can equip it to any monster now, what's interesting about this is that there's a big hole in this combo, something that I haven't found yet just because I haven't taken the next step with the AI because I wanted to stop at this moment to talk to you guys about this combo. We need to find a means to get a fusion monster on the field. And in order to get a fusion monster on the field so that we can play Salamandra Fusion, the best way I found was Ready Fusion. But the second best way I found was Monster Reborn. But the third best way was World Legacy Succession. So between these seven cards, we can bring back the Flame Swordsman so that we can hit it with Salamandra Fusion. Now that we've hit it with Salamandra Fusion, we're gonna bring out this card and we're gonna be able to equip it with the gear blade, which gives it a quick effect to do a pop and deal effect damage. But, and when we did that, we had to synchro summon. But how did we synchro summon? Because when we sent a card from our deck to the grave with Isolde, it special summoned a monster. One equip sent, special summon a level one, special summon Fuma. And because we can run six, sorry, because we can run three, Six, seven, level four monsters that we can special summon in the deck or however we choose to set it up, we can synchro summon into our next play or many other options because basically we have four bodies on board. So my boys, this is the power of AI. This is the power of the distribution. Let's take a look at the full deck list. Testing is over and this is the deck that the AI and I have come up with. So starting out here, I wanna just kind of point out um, that the deck primarily focused, you know, I showed you the full combo with the power of using Flame Swordsman and the legendary Six Samurai uh, combo. But basically, I wanna show you guys really quick the combo with just the Fighting Flame Swordsman because the Fighting Flame Swordsman um, by itself, and if you have another card to extend to do another body on the field that can special summon like any special summon body or Monster Reborn or, or World Legacy or whatever, you can get into Apollosa and you can also get into ultimate flame swordsman on turn one and those two together can do an otk with a hand trap and or support if you don't open up with if you don't open up with any six samurai cards you can summon fighting flame swordsman use the effect to get the uh combo set up for Isolde and then use Isolde's effect to still set up to add this card but if we've got our monster reborn cards um you know 
or the uh ready fusion package you know any combination of the two is how it sets us up to make this play so because we can set up these over we'll continue to do things in the same manner you know by putting out the fuma of course because we only sending one equip and then we will get our phoenix blade back obviously because we do need it and then we'll need to use world legacy monster reborn or ready fusion we'll have to use something to special summon another card and you you might even have that for example um you know there, there's a you know, I was I was gonna say the uh six samurai special summon card, but this is to supposed to do this without six samurais. But obviously in this combo you will summon one at least. So, you know, there's just a lot of options here um to go forward. But anyway, special summon from the graveyard. So now we can link four in the Abaloza. And because we're linking four in the Abaloza, we can now monster reborn back the um flame swordsman because when we linked in the Abaloza, we did have Salam uh Mandra equipped. Um and we searched our deck for the fusion, which lets us go into uh equipping uh flame swordsman so that we can actually fusion summon now once we fusion summon we are going to end with a pop and we have four negates four negates for effects a search negate and a pop like and this is going first off just flame swordsman like it did ha have a little bit of legs to it you know you did have to put a little work in but i'm just saying at the end of the day if your opponent doesn't have a response you know hey you know you know you're going off so you know as you can see you know you just do your little pop here you do your little negate there you know you get them to pass the turn now by any means necessary as you do but you know this is just quickly to demonstrate obviously that we can still otk because we're going to special summon with the flame swords realm the flame swordsman and just because we special summoned it we're going to use it as fodder for the effect of the flame swords realm so that everybody gets a thousand point boost Apollosa technically gets one more negate um, and it's pretty cool. So we're gonna attack, give the boost and attack for game by doubling the attack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel 8. I get Duelist GPT, man, you gotta check it out. I up updated it with Dark Type Codex and now you can get the power of the Duelist. So this is just the version of the deck that I built based off of what I came up with after the AI presented all the options. And I haven't really looked into anything past those two combos that you have seen. Um, honestly, I feel like with those two combos, that provides enough consistency for a finisher so that someone could come through and just find all the ins and outs and every little synergy and every little combo for the deck so as i told you the deck revolves around making the play around fighting flame swordsman but the cool thing about this deck is as long as you can summon his old you can pretty much get you know your plays going with the six samurai so i think probably we would have to find one more normal summon warrior engine to add to this and i think that this deck will be absolutely cracked but you guys will have to check me out on master duel to find out what happens there with the fighting flame swordsman and as always keep it dang